that time of year again for spring break, and that means people are planning trips and hitting the road. Today we are here with Daniel Armbruster with AAA Texas to tell us what you should expect on the roads and at the gas pump. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Great to be here, Katie. What should Texans expect to see on the roads if they're traveling for spring break? Well, the good news is when it comes to gas prices, uh, gas prices are down right now today in College Station, about 86 cents from where they were a year ago. So the average is sitting around $3 a gallon. And of course, it's been fluctuating as we've gone into the new year. Uh, one thing we've seen over the past few weeks is just gasoline demand starting to increase, and that's likely due to a few things. Uh, the weather's getting warmer. This is a time of year when many people start taking road trips, and we know that, of course, travel's going to be very big this year with the, the pent-up demand that's still playing out uh, from the COVID-19 pandemic. Because of that increased demand, are we expecting to see those gas prices fluctuate much? Yeah, you know, they really, uh, this is a time of year where also the uh, switch over to what's called summer blend gasoline takes uh, a place. And, and summer blend gasoline is a little bit more expensive to refine. And so that also uh, can play into why gas prices are going up. And, and they will likely fluctuate, if not increase a little bit, just due to more people being on the roadways and, and getting out and enjoying spring break. If people are headed to another destination somewhere else in the state, is it why is it that they are seeing across the state that other places pay more for gas? So when you break down what a, a gallon of gas costs you, there's a few factors. Of course, everyone uh, looks at, we look at crude oil, the cost of crude oil, uh, that is about 50% to 60% of the cost of a gallon of gas. Then on top of that, you're gonna have local taxes and fees, local supply and demand, uh, and, and other factors th that uh, various individual retailers will uh, have as far as their um, uh, business model and how they make a profit. As people are hitting the roads, once they fill up their tank, do you have any other travel tips for people who are hitting the roads? Well, you wanna make sure that of course, if you're taking a road trip that you're prepared, your vehicle's prepared for that road trip and that you've had a, it checked by a trusted mechanic. Also just making sure that you yourself have had plenty of sleep, at least seven hours of sleep because drowsy driving can be dangerous. And then on the roadway, make sure you have uh, the ability to avoid distractions, whether you give someone else your phone or you put your phone in that do not disturb mode or driving focus mode. Uh, that's really important because we haven't seen a deathless day on Texas roadways since November of 2000. We know that a lot of people are going to be traveling for spring break. And so it's so important to mitigate those risky driving behaviors and think about that before you set sail. Is there a good time for people to hit the road to make traveling a little more seamless? You know, we advise drivers to drive when you're normally awake uh, to avoid drowsy driving. Um, but certainly, you know, uh, if you're in a major metro area, avoiding those peak travel times, uh, the early morning hours, or, or I should say uh, between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. and then in the afternoon between 3 and 6 p.m. Uh, if you're if you're in a major metro area or you need to go through a major metro area, you definitely want to avoid those times because you're going to have holiday commuters mixed in with regular commuters. You mentioned it briefly that we have seen an increase in travel since the pandemic. Are we expecting a lot of people to be on the road during the spring break time? Yeah, whether it's on the roadways or we see a 30% increase in, in the interest of international travel for this spring break. So whether it's on the roadways, at the airport, um, it's going to be very busy uh, and, and likely we will continue to see that trend play out as we go into summer as well. Uh, just again, due to the fact that there's pent up demand for travel uh, and also just a lot of people uh, looking for ways to save and get away. And so you're going to see a lot of people taking road trips because obviously uh, there's a lot of ways to save when you take a road trip. Speaking of those ways to save, I know you mentioned gas prices are looking good right now. Are there other ways to save that people can keep in mind? Yeah, you know, one thing is like if you have a AAA membership, we you have discount and reward factors that you can use um, incentives there. But also just, you know, if, if you're traveling, try to pack your snacks. Don't uh, always eat at a restaurant if you if you can avoid that um, and, and making sure that, of course, 
uh, again, your vehicle is properly maintained because if you have a roadside breakdown, that can be very costly. So just making sure if you're going on that long road trip that your vehicle is in good shape. And also when it comes to gasoline, some other ways you can save is, is using uh, retailer discounts like Shell. They provide a, a, a reward for members who are part of their program. Um, also, if you're a AAA member, you can use the AAA mobile app to find the cheapest gas near you. Um, there are ways to save, a, a, and, and a lot of those are listed on AAA.com, including like if you're uh, in town and, and you want to make sure you maximize your fuel economy, don't mash down on the accelerator. It sounds so simple, but a lot of drivers lose between 10 and 40% of their fuel efficiency just by slamming down on the accelerator when it's time to go. We will have some more of those AAA resources on our website. But Daniel, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. All right, thank you.